special episode! Hey guys, since we're at the end of 2022, it's time to do another special Trues Top 5 related to about what's happened this year. This time, we'll be talking about uh, one of my most favorite video game franchises, Sonic the Hedgehog. This year has been really good to Sonic. So many awesome things has happened to him in 2022. So to celebrate, we're going to be talking about the best moments for the Sonic franchise in 2022. Five. Starting off here, I actually have a tie because there are two games here that are equally great in their own way. Sonic Speed Simulator and Sonic Origins. Sonic Speed Simulator is a game you can find on Roblox. Now, normally I don't usually talk much about games on Roblox because most of them honestly just suck. But Sonic Speed Simulator is honestly the best game I've ever seen on Roblox. In this game, you can run and jump around the area, see different kinds of worlds from past Sonic games, and race against other players. But my most favorite thing about it is the character skins you can pick. You can play as Sonic, Amy, Tails, Knuckles, Metal Sonic, and more. Now, keep in mind, this game is still new, so it doesn't have all the characters yet, but it will in time. There's also some different outfits for the characters too. They have some cool events happen in the game every now and then to unlock them. So if you want those cool outfits, be sure to keep your eyes open for those events. As for Sonic Origins, this game is pretty fun. It has all those good old classic 2D Sonic games like Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic CD, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and 3. It also shows cool animations and artwork of classic Sonic, Amy, Tails, Knuckles, and many more. Both these two games are great and I recommend trying them. Four. Number 4 is the awesome sequel of the Sonic movie, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. This movie was just amazing. I still remember the day when I went to the movie theater with my dad and watched the movie. It was just awesome. Definitely better than the first one. Not saying that the first Sonic movie wasn't great, it was. But the second Sonic movie really got things rolling. Part of me wants to just go to the movie theater and watch it again, even though I already have it on my TV at home. I really am looking forward to the third Sonic movie. Now if they can just announce that Amy Rose will be in it, I mean we know she'll be in it. Lots of fans want her in the third Sonic movie, even some of the people that worked on the second Sonic movie want Amy Rose in it, so come on Paramount, announce it already. You know everyone wants Amy Rose in it. Oh, and be sure to support the hashtag, hashtag Amy Rose for Sonic Movie 3 everyone. Support the hashtag, do it for Amy. Three. Next on the list is the upcoming Netflix show, Sonic Prime. From the looks of it, this show looks promising. We see Sonic in these multiverse places, or multi-dimensions, whatever you want to call them. And we see different versions of his friends in different kinds of places, and I gotta say, they look pretty interesting and cool. I don't know how many episodes this will have, or if it'll get another season. It'll probably get another season, depending on how good it'll be, maybe. I just hope in one of these own cool worlds we'll get to see Paladin Amy, which takes us to... Two? That's right, Paladin Amy is next on the list here. When Sega Hardlight tweeted out about their new character in Sonic Forces Speed Battle, Paladin Amy, the popularity level of it really blew up and got lots and lots of positive feedback. Everyone loves Paladin Amy's design. Even Sega themselves tweet out how much they love Paladin Amy. And in case you don't believe me, here's a picture of the tweet they did as proof. Paladin Amy really boosted up Amy's popularity in a very positive, amazing way. And that makes all the Amy fans and supporters out there, myself included, very happy. I hope we see Amy in that Paladin armor in a Sonic game. Please make it happen, Sega. You did admit publicly that you love Paladin Amy, so use this as an opportunity to give Amy her own video game. Make it happen. One. Now for number one. The biggest awesome moment in for the Sonic franchise in 2022, Sonic's comeback game, Sonic Frontiers. No contest, this game was honestly the best thing to ever happen to Sonic in 2022. This game has gotten a very huge success, lots of positivity, awesome reviews, and so much more. 
it was a lot of fun. I mean, you guys seen my own video of me playing the game and having a fun time. And what's even better is that this game is having more DLC coming to it, including a new story and playable characters, which are Amy, Tails, and Knuckles. Hearing about the new playable characters come in made me and a lot of fans very happy, especially that Amy's one of the playable characters. I've been waiting a very long time to see Amy Rose playable in a Sonic game again, and before you say it in the comments below, no, Team Sonic Racing doesn't count. That's just a racing game. I'm talking about a real Sonic game, one with an amazing story, and that's what Sonic Frontiers is. I am so looking forward to that DLC. Expect a special TLH94 game time video a bit when that day comes. Well that's about it for this special True's Top 5 video. Sonic really has come a long way this year and I'm looking forward to what will be in store for him in 2023. Let me know if you agree with my list here, or tell me what you think were the best things that ever happened to Sonic this year. You can let me know in the comments below or on Twitter at TrueLoveHeart94, I do read the tweets, I'm on there every day. And don't forget to like the video, and be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And be sure to share this video with others too. Please do those things guys, because that helps my channel out a lot. Every bit of support helps, and if you already do that, then you're awesome. Thanks for watching everyone. Oh, and also, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. See you in 2023. So, Klonoa Fantasy Revere series is finally out, and I gotta say, this game has been getting a lot of positivity lately. Lots of people are loving this new Klonoa game, both old Klonoa fans and new Klonoa fans. I swear, lots of positivity on this game. Like, I can tell it's gonna be a very huge success.